Hello everybody, I am Maddie Dragon and welcome to the Xbox Showcase. I missed this thing. I was going to watch it and then I just, I was, honestly, I was just playing a lot of Hell Let Loose. Anyway, let's get into it. Get that way. What have we got to look forward to this year and next year and maybe the future? Okay. Is this all in one? Is this in one game, or is this all different? Mountain rescue and all that sky dive aviation, aerial construction, scientific research. This looks well. I love. I'll wait for it all to finish, then we'll go over it. But, yeah. That's quite neat. I really like that. What's this one going to be? I don't, that's definitely not going to be Starfield, is it? course not. June and Microsoft Flight Simulator. Is this all... How many of these things are for the flight sim? Uh, is this going to be the city? Are they going to do another city? Are they? The city skyline or whatever it's called. I played the first one. It was pretty good. I did enjoy it. I'm playing something at the minute, I can't remember what the name of it is. Uh, but I'll put it on the screen. But it, it is fun, I'm enjoying it. There's a lot to do. You can fail quite easily. This looks good. I'm not very good at the other uh, out. At the uh, ski. Is that? Forget to say. City Skyline or whatever in the hell it's called. I'm not good at that. I tried. Cities Skylines 2. <gasps> Forza! 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 Oh, I love Forza stuff. And best of all, because I, of course I've got the Xbox Game Pass, and of course you got the Ultimate ga uh, Game Pass on PC, I can play these things on the PC as well. Hopefully. Hey, uh, let's what do you think you're doing? I told you no autographs. Though I see you have a meet and greet ticket, and I guess it's not every day that you get to meet the mighty pirate Guybrush Threepwood, the legend of Monkey Island. <laughs> yeah, sea of Thieves is a lot of fun. I played it a fair bit. Hold on. Might need a bit of lowering. Yeah, uh, the Legend of Monkey Island. I'm not going to be playing Sea of Thieves. I stopped playing it a long time ago. Very long time ago. Some cell shaded game here. Oh, don't know. I might give it a try. I don't know. It's on Game Pass, it's free for me. That's the thing I love about Game Pass, you get to play all these new games, you don't have to waste a lot of money buying them to find out you complete it inside of an hour or two. So that's it. Oh, Game Pass is so good. Get to play new games as well as some old ones, some old favourites and stuff like that. It's good stuff. This is... Eh. Looks interesting, that one. Don't know if I'll play it, but I'll look at it for a bit. See what it's like. Towerborn? 
they're not really my type of things these uh, tower tower defense games never were my thing I can appreciate the work that goes into them they do look good some of them but it's just never been for me help <laughs> you're dead 33 immortals okay let's do it ah this is the this is fable looks like it's going in a completely different direction this time and it looks it looks all right i think Could be good. Fingers crossed for Fable being good. Ah, here we go, more Fallout 76. This game has been going on for a long time and I must have wasted about £30 on it or more just to get, you know, the in-game money, just to buy some cosmetic stuff. It's... I can return to it, but I've just never want oh, Atlantic City coming soon. I've just never bothered with it. Speaking of wasting money, how many of you have wasted money on a game? Not talking about game passes, we're talking about like DLC and stuff like that in games. How's this? Elder Scrolls Online, most probably. And like what is your biggest purchase or um yeah how much have you actually built up over time as well with all your dlcs combined for me i'd say at the moment escape from tarkov yeah elder scrolls online yeah for me escape from tarkov i bought the base game and i really enjoyed it but because of how the inventory system uh, management is you buy it, you um, get stuff uh, from going on raids, you take it back to your base, and it fills up your whole inventory over time. Now, when that's full, of course, you have to sell your stuff. You have to also work on getting more inventory space. That takes a very long time. Or you can do the shortcut. Pay for the more inventory space. Every time there's an update out, you get a load of weapons, ammo, more equipment, and stuff like that. I splashed out on that, and I've done it a few times and I think my total amount spent on the game is about £80 or more. I think there's one more update um, for me to get on it and that will be the entire collection so <laughs> that'll be the top tier on it. Oh another uh, update DLC or whatever for this game. The game that I've never completed. Cyberpunk 2077 which is an epic game. Looks great. And they've worked so hard on it now. I mean, they were working hard on it before. <laughs> like, with all the updates they've got on it. It performs better. It looks better. Bantam Liberty. But I stopped playing it such a long time ago. I did the recent video on it. Hellblade? Hellblade, Senua's Sacrifice, is it? The level of detail in this, the Unreal Engine 5. Just... It's so stunning. It's out next year, I can wait for that. I'm happy to wait for that. With all the other stuff that's coming out, possibly this year, and all the stuff I've got to work on this year, I'm happy to wait. Oh, there's so many good ones. And there was people complaining on Twitter. I hate Twitter. But you just cycle through it and people are complaining about what's on the way. I'm like, well, some of these games are going to be for you. Some of them are not going to be for you. And they're just complaining about the whole list of the games that are coming out. I'm like, well, at the moment, there's only been a few that I wouldn't play. But I wouldn't say this is the worst thing in the world. It looks all right. It's a good selection. This here is one that I probably won't be playing. 
it's not really my style it looks interesting i do like the art style on it but no not for me no path of the goddess no What do we got here? No idea. Oh, um, whatever it is, a thing. Is it called heist? Heist or whatever it is. Payday. Another payday game. I have. I haven't even played the first one or the second one if that it looks like it's payday. Not for me with that one. At least that's what I hear. Another Star Wars game. I know this entire video is just a lot of music and very little audio from the uh, game clips themselves. I'm watching it on, as you can see down the bottom, the IGN's video for it. So. Looks alright. It's just video footage at the minute, of course. Star Wars Outlaws coming next year. I will look into that. I do like Star Wars. What the hell is this? South of Midnight. It told me nothing about the game. Nothing to be hyped over. That's one thing that can be quite irritating with game trailers and teasers and all that. They don't give you something to be like hyped for. It's I know, I know, I know a teaser is just like meant to get your attention a little bit or a lot. But some don't just do that. They don't really get your attention. It's quite unfortunate. This one, not Persona 3. Oh, really? Not for me. Now what? Humanity has always hunted for knowledge in the unknown. Oh, is stop? The wonder is not that the field of stars is so vast. I think this is Starfield. But that we have measured it. This is Starfield. People have been complaining because it's 30 FPS and not 60 FPS. I mean, it will be a smooth experience and keeping it at 30, maybe it will go over 30, I don't know, but it's going to play smooth, it's going to look fantastic. Here's the thing, lots of people complain about the FPS of a game. Come on now, I used to play on a Game Boy, lots of you probably played on the Game Boy growing up. You've got the snares, you've got the uh, Mega Drive and all the rest of it, the basic old ass computers. Uh, like Windows 95 and stuff like that, playing Doom, original Doom, Doom 2, even Doom 3. We weren't complaining about the FPS of a game, maybe some they might have had a few issues that might have been computer related more than the game related issues. This looks fucking epic. But yeah, we didn't grow up and complain about them, unless there was something to complain about. But I sound like an old man now. Oh my gosh, I sound old. But it's true. Who's with me on this one? 
who else is about my age? I'm not going to reveal my age, but who else is about that age? Who remembers playing those sort of games? N64 Goldenite plays really well back then. Plays all right now, even on the Xbox uh, One, playing it with my son. So often he loves playing it. I whoop his ass on that game. Sometimes he gets me. But most of the time I just completely fucking destroy him. He's getting better. This looks good. Yeah, we didn't complain about the FPS. And we're here now experiencing games getting progressively better and better, new, better technology, and just happy. Be happy to play the fucking game. And what's also a little, a little, little. And also, what's the point of complaining uh, uh, during like the console wars, Xbox versus PlayStation? I want that controller. Wow. That was good. Just enough of the whole crap of which console is better. It's just trivial. Enough ranting from me. What did you think of the Xbox Showcase? I did the PlayStation one. It went on for quite a while. Out of all the games we've seen here today, which one are you most excited for? Please let me know in the comments below. This I'm mega hyped for. I love me a bit of Forza Motorsport, Forza Horizon. I've played all of those. They're epic games. Nice big open world to go and explore. My son loves going out, doing all that stuff. He doesn't like doing the proper racing on motorsport. On motorsport, he doesn't like that sort of thing. I love this sort of thing. This is more my style. Fable looks good at the minute. Quite different to the usual, what we've experienced. Seems to be going into the realm of giants. The new Star Wars game, Outlaws, looks all right. It's just a teaser, but still. I'd say, yeah, the best thing out of all of the ones I've seen so far is, of course, Starfield. Can't wait to get in and see what Bethesda has done. Hopefully the game runs all right. Hopefully it's not full of bugs like we're used to with Fallout. This and the entire showcase is pretty much a good enough reason to go and get yourself an Xbox and the Game Pass. Oh, check the links in the description. I've got loads of uh, little goodies over there. Go check them out. Lots of good stuff. Anyway, thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you're new here, please consider subscribing to the channel, smash like, and then hit that bell to be informed whenever I bring out a new video. If you want to see some more reaction videos, check the uh, card over there. And thanks for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.